uh, this is the fourth story in impact comics from EC right impact number three from 1955 and it looks like it's the story of the main cover okay and this story is written by Al Feldstein the pencils and inks is by Graham Ingalls and the colors is by Mary Severn okay so let's read this last story in impact comics number three and it's the lemonade stand one look at that look at that beautiful Sam Crowder group candy cigars cigarettes and there's a girl that's set up haha <laughs> the owner of the store is not liking it right that's the old man in front of the on the cover cool let's read the intro to it let's read the intro to it cute that was what Harris the tobacco salesman called the dirty faced kid cute the fool a lot he knew and Sam knew what Harris was thinking in Harris's eye a lot of other a lot of others Sam Crowder was a mean penny pinching old crap as if Sam cared what they all thought in the slums you pinch pennies or you starve so Sam was a mean old crab he earned a living didn't he nobody took advantage of Sam Crowder so Sam Crowder there's his name on the storefront right and this is the girl selling lemonades for five cents for a big glass and three cents for a small glass look at the glass sizes there too right cool 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 and there's the old man right who are those two guys this guy's enjoying himself well competition itch crowder how come you how come you stand for it going soft in your old age he says the cigar man the day I go soft I'll be bankrupt competition bah her and her good fairy good fairy what good fairy Look at the old man never mind you salesman you were supposed to be here yesterday I'm almost out of cigars it's about time you showed up the old man says and you loafers how many times do I have to tell you not to hang around my store oh quit racing your motor motor pop it's a free country why don't you why don't you smile once in a while you might even get to like it the two guys say beautiful artwork beautiful artwork I'll take a glass of lemonade haha <laughs> Annie make it a big one <laughs> the old man says The competition seems to do all right, Crowder. I can understand why you're sore, but after all, a little girl. So what if she's a little girl? You're just like the rest. You never think that I've got to live too, the old man says. Say, you really are sore. If she's cutting in your, uh, your soda fountain business that much, how come you haven't gotten rid of her the salesman says how come don't you think I've tried I pay taxes but do you get the protection not me a dirty faced kit comes along and everybody goes soft and as mush the old man says
but the police the police you think that's the answer huh well let me tell you about the police they're on her side they have been right from the start the old man says the police huh Harris was so smart maybe you could figure it out so Sam told him the whole story right from that morning two weeks back when she when he come to open his store and there she she she'd been what the the old man says <laughs> I can just picture him what the you who told you you could sell lemonade here the old man says that somebody have to tell her a crowder relax you don't have to scare the kid half to death or do you enjoy being mean the cop says look at her she's like scared right? see right off Sam's been been in the wrong Sam had a reputation for being mean without it the whole neighborhood might take advantage of him but that made no never mind please I I didn't know I was doing anything wrong she says oh she's got tears coming out it's a tear jerker look at that look at that look at that look at that let a kid cries she gets to do whatever she wants I I won't bother anybody I just want to earn some money it's for mom she she's not feeling so good and we we haven't had much money since daddy died oh well Crowder do you want me to run her off you're within your rights if you do just say the word or do you think it would be a good idea to act human just once look at him he's not happy as if Sam hadn't known what Murphy Murphy really meant a cop could make plenty trouble for you if he wanted to but that wasn't why Sam turned away did I ask you the old man says please mister I, I can I can see that you're mad I didn't mean to make you mad the little girl says ah, look at all the people lined up to buy lemonade the way they grinned at Sam it wasn't that they cared about the dirty kid Sam knew them they just didn't like him that was why Sam had walked away you should have seen them when Sam had gone inside I'll take a big glass little girl make that two big glasses kid haha -ha. everybody buying the cops smiling the kid her name was Annie did quite a business they bought from her just to spite Sam and Murphy the cop you'd have thought he was part owner of that stand later he checked on that stand like it was a bank and next morning when that good fairy business came up he acted as if he'd really believed it mr. Murphy mr. Murphy look what's this what's this what's going on here what's all the excitement what are you two trying to do ruin my business completely simmer down Crowder nobody's trying to hurt you the cop says mr. Crowder look my lemonade jar 
it's it's full so it's full so what the old man says so it wasn't full last night and he brought some more lemon lemonade with her but she doesn't need it the way she she figured a good fairy came last night and filled the jar for her a what <laughs> the old man says <laughs> all right all right so it hadn't been the right thing to say could you believe a uh, blame sam for being surprised murphy didn't have to get so mad i said a good fairy crowder annie's sure annie's sure of it the cop <laughs> says <laughs> dragging the old man away and she's going to stay sure you're not going to spoil things for her crowder understand one word from you and and what don't you threaten me i know my rights don't you manhandle me the old man says okay just remember crowder maybe you're proud of being the meanest character in the neighborhood but you're not going to spoil things for that kid mean am i how else do you get along in this world the old man says I suppose you like me to get all soft and gooey wouldn't you when you're soft people walk all over you the old man says how would you know just keep away from that kid Crowder this beautiful artwork look at that just beautiful just an aside got a feeling McFarland took a lot of artistic liberty with his faces right or learned a lot from the masters of how to draw faces that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do keep away sure Sam kept away but nobody else did word get around every morning there was a full pitcher of lemonade that's all Sam's customers talked about look at that look at that so that's the little girl I wonder who really uh, goes who really does fill her pitcher for her old man's all pissed so you've heard about her too fine thing isn't it you think the law would give a man some protection the little brat a lot a, a lot the law cares if I lose money the old man says <laughs> this is a flim flam operation it's gotta be let's check it out let's check it out her and her fairy tales she probably fills the picture herself she's smart too smart what'll what'll it be the old man says he's taking orders it was going to be two ice cream sodas but we've changed our minds the couple say two lemonades little girl haha <laughs> She's happy, right? The more Sam complained, the more Sam complained, the more his customers bought from the kid. Ah, oh, they certainly were easy to fool. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm, that sure was good, good lemonade, Annie. Of course it was. Anything, 
uh, anything the good fairies make just has to be good she says awesome awesome so that was the story Sam told Harris the tobacco salesman the whole thing and the way Harris looked at Sam you'd have thought Sam had killed someone so that's what it's all about the salesman says that's what it's all about and you don't have to look at me like that the old man says in this life you make sure that people know they can't take advantage of you if you're smart and I'm smart yeah sure mr. Crowder sure the salesman says Harris despised Sam too. It was obvious. Well, let him. One thing was certain. He'd never tried to get the better of Sam. He knew Sam's reputation. And Sam knew that Harris was just trying to get back at him when he left and stopped outside. I'll have a lemonade, Annie. And after I finish it, I'll have another, the salesman says. A lot of Sam, uh, a lot Sam cared what Harris thought. By closing time, Sam had forgotten all about it. Here comes the car. Outside, Annie was closing down her stand too, covering it with paper. Sam nickered that Murphy. He, he even walked any home nights the sentimental idiot <laughs> Sam locked the store and watched Murphy and Annie disappear around the corner then he moved stealthily warily to Annie's little stand and lifted the paper beautiful artwork Look at that, it's beautiful. And filled her pitcher with lemonade. <laughs> and walked on home smiling inside. Who'd figure Sam was the one? Everyone knew Sam wasn't the kid kind to go soft over dirty face kid. Yes, Sam was Annie's good fairy. It was the only way he could help her. After all, he had a reputation to maintain. Ha <laughs> ha. The end. Awesome, awesome. I actually thought this was a flim flan operation that the old man and the girl were working together. <laughs> awesome, awesome. That was fun. That was fun. What a great series what a great series